Hey fellow chip researchers and, and anyone new to the chip application. I'm Lonnie Pickle, fellow bench scientist, here to talk to you today about optimizing your chip, giving you some tips that I've learned from spectacular mentors over the years, uh, spending a lot of time at the bench myself optimizing chip, and also helping you guys out there in the field. So I wanted to bring you what I've learned here today. So what we're going to talk about is a uh, tissue chip. We're going to go through magnetic beads and how they're going to make your life much easier when performing chip. And we're, all gonna, we're also going to talk about shearing and shearing optimization. Let's start with tissue processing for chip, a very important step in your chip application. When I moved from cells to tissue, I was looking for a protocol that I could use. Uh, wh what I found out there it took too long, uh, required me to purchase more expensive equipment, and it required a majority of my sample, which I wanted to use that sample for other purposes. So what I did was we kind of developed our own protocol, uh, basically using um, a gradient of syringe needles, which made it quicker, it made it extremely cheap, and cut down the amount of material to much, much less, meaning I could use that material for other purposes. The important things that are, will be needed for this procedure are 1ml syringes, 18 and 21 gauge needles, 1x PBS, petri dishes, and uh, what is already needed for your chip would be formaldehyde, lysis buffer, and your glycine. The five basic steps we're going to go over today are weighing, mincing, mashing, homogenizing with a gradient of syringe needles, and then we're going to stop today here with cross-linking. Step one, we're going to start by weighing between 50 to 1,000 milligrams of fresh or frozen tissue. You're going to want to put a petri dish on ice. Make sure everything is kept cold. You're going to add 250 microliters of 1x PVS to your petri dish that has been placed on ice. You're going to add your between 50 to 1,000 milligrams of fresh or frozen tissue onto the petri dish in order to do the second step, which is mincing with a razor blade. So add your tissue. Step two, mincing the tissue. First remove any necrotic or fatty tissue from your tissue sample. Then you're going to mince the tissue using two razor blades into less than one millimeter cubed pieces. And all of this, of course, is done on ice and in 250 microliters of 1x PBS. So you're going to want to cut your tissue into less than one millimeter cubed pieces using the two razor blades. So make sure you finely dice the tissue because the next steps will be using syringes. We added 250 microliters of ice cold PBS, but for more tissue than that, add 250 microliters of ice cold PBS per 50 milligrams of tissue, up to a maximum of two mLs. Step three, we're gonna transfer our tissue into 50, 50 mL conical tube and mash the tissue in order to go through for homogenization. So you take a 2 ml pipette, and while the, the sample's still on ice, collect your sample that has been in the PBS, transfer it to an ice-cold 50 ml conical tube. Use your pipette to bash the tissue as much as possible. We're going to further mash the tissue by adding a 1.5 ml 18 gauge needle onto your 1 ml syringe. Make sure you keep the sheath on and mash the tissue further to make it easier to homogenize in the next steps. Remove the sheath and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pipette up and down 10 times to homogenize the tissue using your 18 gauge needle. It'll go easier as you go along. 
If you happen to get a clog, all you do is remove it and then expel it back through. Once you've homogenized 10 times using the 18 gauge needle, you're going to quickly move to your 21 gauge needle. And with this needle, you're going to homogenize and pipette up and down 20 times. And of course, keeping the sample on ice as you're doing this. Once you've reached 20 times, the sample has been fully homogenized, and you can move on to formaldehyde cross-linking, which is step five. Step five, we're going to cross-link our tissue. So after you've already homogenized your tissue, you're going to transfer your homogenized tissue to a brand new 1.5 ml tube at room temperature. The 50 milligrams of tissue is already in 250 microliters of PBS. So we're going to add an additional 200 microliters of room temperature PBS to the sample, which means for every 50 milligrams of tissue, we're going to have a final volume of 450 microliters of PBS. Two important tips for processing tissue for chip. One is to make sure to keep everything ice cold up until the cross-linking step, which will be performed at room temperature. Second important tip is to make sure you go fast. If you're just collecting a few, go ahead and go through the processing. But if you're collecting more than a few, make sure to freeze those samples and process only a few at a time. Speed is essential to make sure that your lysate is well prepared and you'll get great chip results.